And here is Purple Potato in his robot mode. Finally, what you're going to want to do is take these spines, if you took them out, and go ahead and pop them back into position to complete the overall look. And, of course, uh, um, I'll put that in later after the review. So, uh, uh, there he is in his robot mode. And, wow, what a... What a bear. <laughs> what a bear. Um, but he does look pretty good. He looks pretty good. I like the colors. I like the overall look. I like the feel. Um, almost all the joints have die cast in them. And bottom of the feet there. And so... Lots of molded detail in there as well. And he looks pretty good. He does. He looks pretty good. I got that fist folded up right now. Now, when you're transforming him, you'll want to straighten out the fingers and the thumb to fold them back into position inside. But he does look pretty good. Uh, I dig it. I like it a lot. I do. I like it. Um, you got those right there. Can't be helped. Um, you're going to need those. Uh, well, at least one of these for... No, I guess... I don't think you do actually do. I think they could have used some screw port covers here as well. But still, all in all, I like the way these fold up. Now, you can't have those wings on the inside if you wish. Um, you can't have those sitting there like that if you wish for a different kind of look, I guess. It's totally up to you. Just have that back into position. There we go. Um, totally up to you. The instructions are... I, again, like I said, the instructions are lame. Uh, um, they, they're not very helpful. They're not very helpful. So the ears do move a bit. So, you know, you can position those however you like. Um, you put To install a light in here, his eyes do light up. But I don't have it right now. Any batteries. But you simply flip up his lid right here. And that's where you would install a battery. You can see in there. That's where you would install a battery. I, I don't remember the battery type. Because I don't plan on putting batteries in it. But... That's where it goes. My one complaint about this toy, besides the the engine transformation engineering, is that this thing is just it's loose. If you go to move that head, any pop, you pop it up. So I wish that would tab into place. It does not tab into place. Not even soft tabs. It just folds up and folds down. Maybe if there's a battery in it, it wouldn't do that as much. I don't know because you do have these little pegs in here, but they don't really associate anything. So that's one my one complaint. But otherwise, it's pretty good. And I do like it. I do like it. Uh, um, quick comparison, because, you know, we have to do a comparison. Here is a leader class toy. An older leader class size toy. So you can see the scale going on there. This happens to be, uh, once again, thanks for uh, to AutoCorrect Primer for getting me this guy. But you can see the scale uh, there. He, he is a decent scale. Let me clean this guy up. Here we go. Uh, he is a decent size scale um, robot. There you go. So you have that. Prime is a bit taller than he is. Still, you know, th th there is something for scale. But overall, yeah, I really like him for articulation. Uh, his head will look up a great range. Not uh, really down. Well, you do get some down, but, you know, not a really useful down. Get some side to side if that's your thing. You know, it does swivel all the way around. Um, so that's pretty good. I like these universals in here. So you can get a good bit of up uh, and out of the way. If you want, you can get a little bit more. If you move this panel out of your way, you can get even more. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I do like it. Um, you know, you can have that out that way if you wish. Um, arms will rotate all the way around, which is really good on a nice ratchet. Let's fold that back in so it looks right. You do get a bicep swivel right up there. I'm sorry about having that off camera. You do get a double jointed elbow on there on a die cast joint, as I mentioned before. Uh, um, you do get a waist swivel. I see no real clearance issues here, so that's nice. And you get a nice, uh, if you move it out of the way, you can get a complete ab crunch, though it does break the mold, as you can see. But you do have an ab crunch if you want it. It is there. Uh, um, these will get up out of the way on the front and back to give you better uh, uh, articulation. Move that there. Move that there. And nice tight joint going out. 
like that. Well, that's pretty nice. Nice tight joint there. Goes back that far. Again, nice tight joint. Not a lot of move, as you saw. There, that click. I had to push harder on it, though. And that one, not. it's not as strong. Yeah, yeah, not quite as strong. But you get that far forward, that far back. Again, those will get up out of your way if you want. These will move around if you want to position them however you want. Rotate them forward, backwards, out like this. It's up to you. Uh, um, knee is only a 90 degree knee. But that's okay. Um, no big deal. You do have a bit of rotation on a universal up here. And you have a rotation down here if you want it. So you, you have that. Now... Uh, I've seen a lot of videos where they don't talk about this rocker system on this guy. It's a little convoluted, a little complicated, but it really works. So, what you have here is a joint inside here, right, that rotates like this for a rocker. But you have an additional rocking joint right there on the foot itself. On mine is really tight, but you do have one that goes in and out. So, you do have that. You have a little forward, a little back. You do have a toe tilt if you, or heel tilt if you want it but you've actually got two rockers built into this and it does help out um my my one complaint is that the joints are the tolerances on this are wonky i mean some are really loose some are really tight it it's 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 uh, uh maybe it's just this copy i don't know like this this transforming this section up here just some of the tolerances is, is is a little wonky on this, but otherwise, I really do like him. I, I do. So this has been my look at the uh, Lemon Tree LT03 Purple Potato, and he looks really, really nice. Now, I don't plan on putting a sticker on this and calling this the official figure, okay? He's not. He's not Shockwave, all right? Uh, um... I'll never be a shockwave in my mind. That's just me, though. Some people look at this and say, oh, that's a cool shockwave. Well, you'd be wrong um, because this is Purple Potato. <laughs> he has a name for a reason. It'd be like calling me Steve. That's not my name. <laughs> so, you know, uh, um, this is the Purple Potato, and, and I do recommend him. And I hope you don't have the same some of the same issues, tolerance issues, really, that mine has had. But otherwise, it's a really good toy. And I do recommend it. Uh, um, once you get past the, the 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 awkwardness of the engineering, I think the engineering could have been a bit easier, honestly, especially in the legs, where the tolerances to get it into snap together in the right way could have been a bit more forgiving because it, it really, it really, 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 really requires you to be very precise with every single position that you do this. Now, like... Like up here, both sides of this fold up and, and away, right? Both, both, but only one side you need up and out of the way for transformation. It's not very specific which ones you want to do. I recommend doing this side, okay? That's just me, uh, but whichever way it works for you, it works. Uh, um, you keep at it, keep trying. It's, it's a really overcomplicated engineering system to get to a fairly good looking ship and I do it's it's meant to look like the revenge um and I think it works anyway I, I've been prattling on too long thanks for watching thanks for listening make sure to check out my playlist make sure to click the bell icon stay up to date in all my videos subscribe if you're not already uh please if you have the means please join my di uh, uh <laughs> wow been a long review <laughs> join my patreon and uh, uh, um, to everyone who's subscribed to my channel so far and everyone who's watched this till the end, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your patience being this is being my third, uh, first third party figure. And uh, thanks for voting me to do the transformation on screen, man, as you guys are just cool. This wouldn't be a long video because of it. So anyway, be good to each other. Real quick, I needed to add one more thing. Uh, I showed you that this can be used as a rifle in its hand, but I need to mention this cannot be used for his robot mode. There is no way to actively make this really work for it. I mean, even if you did it that way, there, there, there's just no way to really actively use this stand for his robot mode. 
Uh, um, you can't really store it per se anywhere when it's in its rifle mode. Um, so yeah, there's just nothing really you can do. This is just going to be an accessory uh, outside of, you know, you can store other elements to this if you want you know like his hands and whatnot you can store on here i suppose you know do do what you're gonna do um but yeah like you can store as the other accessories you're not using on this you can put these into the exhaust if you want or on, on his cannon arm which i showed earlier which can you know be used as a blast effect uh, um but other than that really you can't other than the rifle mode for this and to store the extra accessories, not really much you can do with this in robot mode as a stand per se. Because it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work this way. It doesn't work this way. It, it doesn't work like that. So anyway, there you go.